Now, when the Articles of Confederation were made, it was intentional that the central government was weak, but they quickly realized that there was a lot of problems with having a weak central government. One of the big issues that the Constitution tries to solve is this idea that uh, the states refused to acknowledge that authority and power could be uh, held within the central government. So the Constitution came up with a plan known as federalism. Now, federalism is when you divide powers among national, state, and local governments. Um, in this case, we're really concerned about national and state. Now, there's uh, when they wrote the Constitution, they set aside um, de uh, delegated powers for the national government, things like declaring war, uh, coining currency, things that only the central government can do. And then there are powers that only the states can do. Then there's other powers that they can share concurrently. These are things like uh, collecting taxes, passing laws. So the system of federalism is a way to give the central government, which we'll now call a federal government, uh, the ability to have some power and some uh, ability to control the direction of the country. One of the other concerns that they had with the Articles of Confederation was that there was no real convenient way to change the Articles if there were problems. It took a uh, unanimous vote, so all 13 colonies, now states, would have to agree to any changes. This was very cumbersome and very difficult to get accomplished. In fact, at the Philadelphia Convention, Rhode Island didn't even show up, so they couldn't amend the Articles even if they wanted to. So what they did was come up with a system called the amendment process where um, three-fourths three -fourths of the states would agree uh, in order to amend the Constitution. It makes it a little bit easier to change uh, the main document of the country.